Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at live inputs in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. Like many features in Tractor Pro 2, you have to start in the preferences before you can actually use the live inputs. So we're going to go and open the preferences by clicking on the cog icon up in the top right. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the input routing tab. Now, of course, Tractor Pro 2 allows you to use four decks at a time. So if you're only doing mixing on the first two channels, you could use the other two channels to have inputs. On the input routing tab, you can change the particular input for each deck. And for this, I'm going to be using deck B. So I'm going to go ahead and where it says not connected, I'm going to then go ahead and select input five and then input six. Now you can see that this is a stereo pair that I have assigned from my Audio 8 DJ sound card. Right now I have the microphone that you're hearing for this tutorial plugged into that port. And you can see that I have the VU meters that are displaying that audio is in fact coming through this channel. So once you've made sure that everything is fine and you've got the UV meters displayed correctly, you can go ahead and close out at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the letter of the particular deck I wanna choose, in this case deck B, and you'll see an arrow appears below. So just simply click on that and then select live input. Now that we have a live input selected, you'll see that all of the track deck controls go away and now we've got this live input. You can also see the VU meter up at the top is going as I speak to you as once again I'm using the microphone for this input. One of the great things about using live input is that you can still have all of the controls that you're familiar with when it comes to affecting the audio. By that I mean that you can use things like filters, EQs, and the effects. For example, if I wanted to have a delay on my voice, I could do so. Let's check that out. Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Right now I'm telling you how to use a delay. A delay. That's right. I am showing you how you can use a delay on your voice using the microphone and Tractor Pro 2's live input. So that is how you can add external audio sources like a microphone to your mixes in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. If you would like to learn more about Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2, Check out our other video tutorials at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast.